Hey, what's up, everybody? We want to welcome you to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Daily Recap, where we give you a recap of all of the hot topics that we covered that day. You can catch them in their long format and also catch it fully streaming for free on Apple Podcasts. This topic right here is something that uh, I can't even believe uh, is going on. As you guys know, Team USA just won the gold. Men's basketball team just won the gold. And the MVP of that game was LeBron James. When the when it was announced that LeBron was going to be the MVP of the game, some people were cheering, but there were others out there that were that, that were saying that no, I think that uh, Stephen Curry was more deserving of the MVP award, right? He some people were saying that no, he should have won the MVP award. Uh, and one of those people that came out uh, they basically pushed back on the committee of whom, whomever who voted for LeBron was Stephen Curry. I want to put up his post that he posted on, um, uh, what is it, I believe, Instagram. He said, they gave the MVP to the wrong player. Maybe they called out the wrong name by accident. I think we need to rewind the moment when Stephen Curry displayed himself as the best shooter who ever touched the ball. An international ball, if you can't shoot, you can't have the ball at the end of the game. I get LeBron is the king to many. But let me say this, when you give him what he doesn't deserve, you basically say that because of what he has done, he should receive such a high honor on the biggest stage. No, he didn't earn it this time. Those were Stefan Marbury's initial comments, right? That was his initial salvo. We produced a show about it. We reacted to it. Everybody gave their two cents on it. So I thought that was the end of it. <clears throat> but for the past 24 hours, I've been seeing topics flash up on my, you know, my computer and I'm seeing Stephon Marbury saying this about LeBron. Stephon Marbury is talking about LeBron. I'm seeing other people talking about LeBron. Stephon Marbury, so we're going to LeBron. I'm like, what are they talking about? What, what is this thing about Stephon Marbury is talking about LeBron? I'm, I'm lost. I'm confused. So I decided to look for Stephon Marbury's social media accounts. Uh, and then finally, I came across his Twitter account last night. And I started to read through the post. As I was reading through the post, after each post I read, I couldn't believe what Stephon Marbury, Marbury was saying because it, essentially, Starberry decided that he was ready to go to war with LeBron James fans. And anybody who was saying that LeBron is on the level of Michael Jordan. And we want to get into some of his tweets because there were a lot of them. All right, let's go through Stephon Marbury's account. Because, I mean, it was just absolutely crazy, right? A lot of these tweets, he's actually responding to what other people said. There's a lot of it uh, that I want to get through, right? Um, there's a lot of it. So, where do we even begin? Here's one tweet he put up. He said, Olympic standout by Ibusele one uh, uh, has one season left on his Real Madrid contract with an NBA buyout in Super Mario. He said... Uh, he was in China doing this. Then he started, Stefan Marbury. He was responding to some comments that Steve Kerr made, which was, after all the years of coaching against him and trying to figure out how to beat him, I'm a LeBron fan for life. And then Stefan Marbury uh, wrote, oh, I put the wrong hat by my, my bad. Then there was another uh, post. He said, this one was referring to from House of Bricks. And he said, if you say something, the LeBron Media Avengers team hits the internet tagging. Come on, we got <laughs> we got time for y'all today. That was another one. This is like back to back. Uh, and then there was another one, right? Uh, this one, it was responding to, this is from Brandon uh, Scooby Robinson, right? And he said, yo, Steph, how come LeBron didn't speak to you after the gold medal game? Stefan Marbury responded, he didn't see me. Now, let's pause right there. Apparently, what happened was there was footage after the game of, I think, uh, Stefan Marbury was standing next to Carmelo Anthony. And Carmelo was, uh, I guess, talking to LeBron after the game. And you can see Stefan Marbury standing right next to him, and he's trying to talk to LeBron, but I think he's tapping him on his chest, tapping on, on his chest. And LeBron James is ignoring him, right? He's ignoring him, right? And I was like, what is going on here? So that's what Brandon... Scooby Robinson was referring to, and he said he didn't see me. Let's continue on. This is the one Michael Jordan has the most scoring titles in NBA history. See all of Jordan's scoring titles. 
And then one person said, which this is what Stefan was re- responding to. He goes, LeBron wish he could do this. He can never be better than Michael Jordan at Stefan Marbury. And Stefan Marbury said, shouldn't be, shouldn't even be mentioned in the same breath as MJ. Oh, it didn't stop there. <clears throat> um, uh, another person said, what, uh, what they hate is that you're, uh, unequally qualified you killed it at, at the very top but don't march to the same beat as the machine anyone can do the second almost no one did the first he says exactly straight killer who lives immortal on earth thanks to god sadly these people will stay on the program for a lifetime if they don't open their minds um another person said stefan marbury uh, is often the player's corner often in the player's corner because of the media bs he faced during his time and then he goes and you can take that to the bank he didn't stop there there was another one he said this is stefan marbury he uh he's responding to what scoop b uh robinson said about his question why didn't lebron talk to you so he responded and then he wrote back to him saying he's not strong enough to say something so funny first of all let's read that again he said he's not strong enough to say something he then says so funny his friend Draymond gave me that by accident. It was classic. When he realized, he was like, damn, I messed up the code, right? He didn't stop there. He kept on going on, right? He kept on going on uh, and on. He wrote, now, you on earth the rules for LeBron and everyone else are different. She's ha- She has to start making billions for people before she can get to that uh a status i guess he's talking about lebron james there and then there's another one he said because he don't f with marbury because marbury always got some elicited hating to do when it comes to lebron that bleep is crazy to me uh that he hates on him every time too he said because i said he didn't deserve the mvp he didn't and others said the same thing i just said what others are afraid to say i have no problem with pulling the trigger in real time then hearing from the servants of the king like you, right? And he got one more. This is from the Scooby uh, Robinson. He goes, you're a troublemaker. You told me that the LeBron Avengers were coming for me, but I can't find the army. You got me knocking off the general and lieutenant. And, and he just, he refused to stop. Like it went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And while I'm reading through these tweets, y'all can go to his page and check it out. While I'm reading through these tweets, I'm saying to myself, what is going on here? Like, where did, like, where, where, where is Stefan Marbury getting all of this energy from, uh, 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 from to go at LeBron like this? Because to me, I've never seen an NBA player go at LeBron James like this. Now, <clears throat> if, a play uh, if a fan was the one out there saying what Stefan Marbury was saying, he would be easily dismissed. Easily. And say, oh, he's a nobody, he didn't play in the NBA, blah, 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 right? But in the case of Marbury, he's in a very unique position. Because son was nice, number one. Number two, he was a multiple time all-star. Number three, I think he was on one of those Olympic teams, I think in 2004, right? So Stefan Marbury could actually play ball, uh, play basketball. Like he's really nice. He was good with the Wolves. He was good with the Nets. And then ultimately he go he went to go play with the New York Knicks. He was a very very good basketball player. So we can't throw the oh he's a scrub or he didn't do well and is whatever whatever. We can't use that about him. But what is surprising me again is the fact that he's going at LeBron James like this. And trust me. The comments that Stefan Marbury is making, he is definitely ensuring that he will be out of the club in terms of people that are going to be moving forward in media. There ain't no way anybody going to let somebody like Stefan Marbury with these type of views about LeBron James get on any major platform and it just won't happen. It just will it just won't happen and that speaks to the 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 power of the narrative and how that narrative must remain alive and if anyone threatens that you're gonna get them the hell up out of here but again man to hear what stefan marbury was saying in terms of him saying that him and jordan are not on the same level look i didn't think he's lying i think he's telling the truth right i think he's telling the truth i i heard a lot of lebron james fans reacting to stefan marbury and basically what they're calling him is a hater right for some of his views 
on LeBron James. So I had to go back and kind of understand what we're what are Stephon Marbury's views on LeBron because we've done some shows about it. But based on what I was able to unearth, all Stephon Marbury has been saying since the beginning is LeBron James is a hell of a player, but he doesn't believe he's on the level of Michael Jordan. And he believes that Kobe Bryant should be ranked ahead of LeBron James. Those are Stephon Marbury's comments, in, uh, essentially in a nutshell. He believes that, Stephon Marbury we're talking about, he believes that LeBron James is a hell of a basketball player, but he doesn't believe that he's on Michael Jordan's level. Um, and he doesn't believe that he should be ahead of Kobe Bryant. I want to read um, some of his quotes <clears throat> from uh, that, that he told um, interview with Brandon Scooby Robinson. He said, LeBron's a great player, don't get me wrong. A great player, unbelievable, amazing. But better than Michael Jordan, and it's not even in this, it's not even the same, it's just different. In fact, it needs no explanation or explaining because we can't talk about Jordan's game. It's like we need to talk about what other people are not. People want to people want to rank Jordan. Jordan shouldn't even be ranked. It should be Kobe, then LeBron, and then you pick after that. There's no compar there's just no comparison, man. It's not the same. It's just different worlds, different mentalities. I don't know why Jordan's name is mentioned in the same conversation sometimes. Uh, I'll clear this up real quick. There's really no need to talk about that. <clears throat> what I heard there is a guy saying that LeBron, Kobe, those guys are good, but MJ is on a different level. Now, here's what's interesting about the prototypical LeBron James fan. LeBron James fans are amongst some of the most emotional people walking planet earth they're just they they're so they're emotional like they're they're their follower their leader excuse me they're very emotional people i don't understand it right and it's amazing because maybe why Draymond, Draymond green and all these dudes rock with him because Draymond green is emotional too so that's, that's probably why they all rock together right there must be some type of underlying court all of these guys are very emotional and i'll tell you why like it's so sensitive like come on man like yo pull up your skirt what's wrong with you dudes and i'm gonna explain to you what i mean if you go back and read that quote from Stefan Marbury, I want to read it once more. He said, people want to rank Jordan. Jordan shouldn't even be ranked. Stop. Stop right there. I'm a Kobe Bryant fan. A lot of people watching this show are Kobe Bryant fans. In that sentence, he just said that Jordan should be separate from Kobe Bryant and LeBron, he believes Jordan is in a different realm. Then you should start ranking Kobe and Jordan, and, I mean, uh, LeBron and all of these guys. When me, as a Kobe fan, hear that, and other Kobe fans hear that, we understand that, okay, he's saying that Kobe's good, but he's saying Jordan is better. That's a Kobe fan. That's how a normal man processes what Stefan Marbury said. A LeBron James fan hears that, and what they hear is, Oh, you're hating on oh, you're hating on LeBron James. You don't like him. You're putting slander. You're putting dirt on his name. That's a that's how they process information. They process information with their emotions. They don't process they don't process information with their logic. They use emotions to emotions to process things. It's one of the reasons why LeBron is upset. Okay, he said that. You and Jordan should be mentioned in the same breath. Does he say, is he saying you're a bad person? So because Stefan Marbury didn't say that you and Jordan are on the same level, I'm not going to talk to do. Is it that serious? These are all a bunch of emotional wrecks out here. And that's the fundamental difference with LeBron fans. LeBron fans will get on the internet, cry, fight with each other, fall out friendships. They're falling out with one another because of over LeBron James. He said Kobe shouldn't be mentioned there. Do you see Kobe Bryant fans crying all over the place? No. All you see is LeBron fans running up and down the hallway, hollering and scream, uh, screaming, twerking it up all over the place, knocking over drinks, running through door, kicking through doors, gyrating all over the place, just vibrating all over the damn floor. These are the people that are losing their mind. They just, they just cannot help but twerk it. Just twerk it up. They just start, the minute he starts, he start, they start shaking. They start shaking. They start reaching for their wands. Just because he said that. So I don't care how a LeBron fans feel. You guys, it's not that he's a hater. It's that you guys are sensitive. Overly sensitive. Too sensitive. Too sensitive. And that's the reason why he's going at you, dude. Because he knows you guys are going to respond to it emotionally. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy, these people.
guys, look, um, there, there's some trouble uh, in paradise here today because Stefan Marbury uh, has basically decided that he wants to go to war um, with LeBron James fans, right? Uh, and he's not holding back. I want to give you guys the quick uh, backstory of what essentially uh, is taking place here. Stefan Marbury said that he believes that Stephen Curry should have won the finals MVP, right? I mean, not the final, the, the Olympic gold medal MVP. He then took the, his Instagram or wherever it was and basically explained why he believes that Curry got robbed. And he said that LeBron didn't deserve it. So you have that. Then you have during the Olympic gold medal game at the end of the game where, and I don't know, maybe the tweet, the, the, his comments came after, I don't know, uh, where LeBron came over to Carmelo Anthony to celebrate and Carmelo Anthony was standing right next to Stephon Marbury and Stephon Marbury was trying to like tap LeBron on his chest to say something to him and LeBron just ignored him, right? So I guess after LeBron ignored him, Stephon Marbury then took to his Twitter account and I'll just read you some of the things that he, um, that he said. Uh, he said, um, um, one person said to him, he said, you was fanned out begging for daps from Braun, laughing my you know what. He then said, yes, you got me. I was so close to getting a handshake from your king. As one of the servants, what could I have done better than to get a handshake, sir? He still shouldn't have gotten the MVP. That's not changing. Another thing he said, uh, the truth sounds like hate. Uh, like hate to small minds. You're 100% correct. They don't belong in the same sentence. He's referring to him saying that him and Jordan don't belong in the same sentence. I want to actually read you those Stefan Marbury quotes. He said, LeBron is a great player. Don't get me wrong. A great, great player. Unbelievable. Amazing. But better than Jordan? It's not even a, It's not even the same. It's just different. In fact, it needs no explanation to explain it because we can't talk about Jordan's game. It's like we need to talk about what other people are not. People want to rank Jordan. Jordan shouldn't even be ranked. It should be Kobe, then LeBron, and then you can pick after that. There's no, there's just no comparison, man. It's not the same. It's just different worlds, different mentalities. I don't know why Jordan's name is mentioned in the same conversation sometimes. I'll clear it up real quick. There's really no need to talk about that. So that's the backdrop for that. Let me continue on with the comment. He then says, damn, sometimes I wish I hadn't learned that when I was in my teens, I'm, I'm, I'm only speaking from playing against Jordan, LeBron, and Kobe. It's a different level of intellect as well. And he, I mean, and he just kept on going on and on and on and on. He wrote another one. He says, well, X, it was real. I normally don't come on here as, um, as often as I used to at school. B uh, said LeBron's Avengers were at my door. So I had to clear some way, <laughs> something, some way. Uh, back behind the fence, people. At the end of the day, it's just net. The matrix is real. Stay safe. Uh, so, so moat it be whatever, right? Um, and he was just basically um, going at LeBron guys. I heard a creator, and I forgot who it was, that said that in the midst of this tirade that he went on or these tweets, he said that Dwayne Wade unfollowed him. You heard me right. They said Dwayne Wade unfollowed Stefan Marbury because of the tweets uh, that he was putting up. I want to give you guys some. I want to give you guys some 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 game here. Here's what I've noticed uh, from afar. This sports media community, this basketball community, is just like what you would find in high school. It's all clicks. You know, when you go to high school, you have this group, you have that group. And then most importantly, you have the cool kids and then you have the kids that are not cool. So it's either you're in the cool group or you're out of the cool group. And if you're out of the cool group, man, you know, you just don't get the perks. You don't get the adulation and all of that stuff. And to me, it seems like that's what sports media is. It's like one big click, right? And it's either you're part of the click or you're outside of the click. This is what I'm noticing, right? Why do I say that? Because I, I noticed this type of behavior when I was going to school. I'm noticing a lot of this out here. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I heard. For Dwayne Wade to unfollow Stefan Marbury because of what he was saying. But if Dwayne Wade had a relationship with Marbury like he knew him, to me, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird to me. That's weird. It's like 
if I know person A, right? And person B. And I got a problem with person B, right? And person A knows person uh, knows me and person B. And I'm going at person B. And then person A, who I'm cool with, unfollows me. Because I'm going at this dude. Then I'm going to look at person A like, okay, so what was that about? You looking funny style to me. You looking kind of funny to me. Because I thought you and I were legit, like cool. But it turns out if I'm going at him, then I cannot rock out with you. And so therefore I'm unfollowing you. That's a click. It goes back to the comment that he put up on his Twitter. He says, um, um, he's reacting to what a Brandon Scooby Robinson said. Stefan says, he's not strong enough to say something. I think he's referring to LeBron. He goes, so funny. His friend, his friend Draymond gave me dap by accident, laughing out loud. It was classic. When he realized, he was like, damn, I messed up the code. He got it right there. He said it right there. Damn, I messed up the code. What's the code? What's the code? The code is never say nothing negative about the man. Because the moment you say that, all of these dudes that you thought was cool with you are going to turn around and show you their backs and walk out. Now, here's the part in all of this that I don't get. Right? As an outsider looking in, here's the part I don't understand about all of this. All of these people I'm talking about, all of these men that I'm talking about, they are all multi-millionaires. Not millionaires. Multi-millionaires. Multi-millionaires. All of these different characters I mentioned in here. They're all millionaires, right? That's number one. Number two, the money that they make is not connected to the next guy. What do I mean? The money that Stephon Marbury make, made is not connected to the money that Dwayne Wade made. The money that Dwayne Wade made is not connected to the money that Draymond Green made. The money that Draymond Green makes is not connected to the money that LeBron James. These guys play on a different team. They had different. They all made their own money off of their merit and all that stuff. So these are all millionaires within themselves. So it's not like I said, oh, one dude works for him or this and that. Nah, they're all millionaires, right? I'm trying to process it. Why would me, as a millionaire, as a man that's over the age of 30, care whether or not somebody over there doesn't want to be cool with me because him and so and so got an issue so i can't dap him up so i gotta stay loyal to him and shun this dude to show my loyalty and the question is why am i being loyal to you when you add nothing to my bottom line i don't understand this why here's what's interesting and this is so off topic with Patrick Bet David. Some of you are like Patrick Bet David, you know, Patrick Bet David for value entertainment. Here's what's interesting about him Patrick Bet David has what you call FU money. And with his FU money, it allows him to go on YouTube and say whatever he wants to say within the parameters, within reasonable parameters. You just go out there and slander people and say all kind of crazy stuff. But he can go out there and speak his mind, all right? Because he has FU money. That's where everybody should aspire to be. You get to FU money. So he's not beholden to YouTube. If he loses his channel, he still has over $500 million, right? He's set. These guys are financially set, but they're running and hiding. I don't understand. Number one, number two, son, if you above 30 and you have a family, if you got, forget about, if you forget about, you're not even married. If you got kids, why do you care if another man decides that he doesn't want to be your friend no more? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why is that your fear? Oh man, if I say this, he's gonna stop talking to me. Or I'm not gonna be able to get invited to the parties no more. And and it just makes me realize that some people really care about this stuff. Some people really care about being within the in group. Stefan Marbury seems not seems to, not to be one of those people. He gonna call it like it is. At the, at, you gonna wake up today and still be rich. He gonna be rich, 
at the end, you're going to wake up this morning and he's still going to be rich. So what's the problem? Nothing. What's going to happen? Nothing. But nevertheless, you have all of these people in media running and hiding, afraid to give their real opinions and they're rich. Even the money can't set you free. It is unbelievable to me. So Stefan Marbury, I think, just guaranteed the fact that he's not going to be getting invited to these parties no more, man. They're not going to rock out with you, bro. They not. I'm not saying it to be funny. I'm like, I'm, it's sad. I'm saying like, they're not going. They're not going to turn on Stefan for that. And it's a damn shame, right? Because we're reaching a point now where it becomes controversial to defend Michael Jordan. It's gotten to the point where it's controversial to defend Kobe Bryant. It's controversial now to say, no, I think Jordan is better than LeBron. No, I think Kobe's better than. Him. That's that stirs up controversy, right? And you have these. Clown ass LeBron fans running up and down the comment section, twerking up all over the place, harassing people in our comment section, slapping each other with honey all over the place. Talking about, oh, you the black skip bailers, you the black skip bailers. You know, LeBron fans are an interesting uh, crop of people. They talk about, oh, skip bailers was bad for this, bad for that, troll LeBron, troll. What has Nick Wright been doing? What has Nick Wright been doing since 20, 2015 or 17 or whatever the hell he's been doing? He's been trolling Michael Jordan. Every single week he finds a way or whatever it is to troll Michael Jordan. He finds a way to troll Michael Jordan, but y'all love it. He ain't the, he ain't the, they don't know Skip Bayless. Nick Wright is Skip Bayless, but on the other end of the spectrum. And y'all love him, but y'all gonna come to me and talk about, oh, the black Skip Bayless. Yeah, all right, whatever. Whatever. I'll be that. I'll be that. We're gonna see y'all tomorrow. Y'all gonna be back here tomorrow to tell me that same thing because y'all can't stop watching uh, LeBron James content. 